from whether that she was just referring to making it a pleasant day for people who are choosing to visit graves of veterans on this Memorial Day, a holiday to have us pause and remember those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Kristen Drummond now showing us how the pandemic changed certain events, but not everyone's desire to observe this day. American flags fly above fallen heroes. It gets my heart. It's really nice. It's very touching. I, it's, it's amazing to see. Sean McConnell visits his father. Uh, he was in the Air Force and uh, he was in the Korean War. One of thousands buried at the Southern Nevada Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Boulder City, a popular place on this holiday to honor those who served and sacrificed for our country. We want to be you know, among our brothers here and sisters, you know, that, uh, you know, the fought because these people are the ones why we're still here. Services to observe Memorial Day were different because of the pandemic. Instead of a public event, the Nevada Department of Veterans Services released a virtual remembrance online. Governor Steve Sisolak also came by privately to lay a wreath in a small ceremony. Very heartwarming to actually see the respect that's given to our veterans. COVID-19 also changing the flag placement tradition. The Nevada Department of Veterans Services and partner organizations canceled the event to properly follow CDC guidelines. Uh, this year we had to call that off because of the virus and a lot of our veterans are older veterans. Another group ignored the department and placed roughly 10,000 flags on the property. They uh, weren't happy with our decision. And so they came out and they set out some flags. They didn't set out, uh, they didn't cover the cemetery. But the main focus for everyone, the men and women here, never forgetting their fight for our freedom. Everybody still cares. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. Kristen, thank you for that report. The Nevada Department of Veterans Service estimating 10,000 people visit the cemetery each and every year. Staff says COVID-19 does not seem to be impacting their numbers so far.